how you guys doing welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a great day today and everything you try to accomplish this year it becomes into reality welcome to another video on how to fix your car um on this video right here we're not trying to teach you everything exactly perfect and how to do things we're just trying to give you an idea and how you can do the work so please if you're not a subscriber or if you just found us and just navigating to the channel and because you need information that we're about to give you don't sit there and judge especially if you're not a subscriber because at the end of the day you guys don't help us do the work and remember i've been doing this for so long i'm not gonna sit there and criticize everybody so from now on i decided if you're gonna talk smack on my channel and on the comments down below i'm gonna leave it there so everybody can see it so you can make yourself look like a fool because I'm done, like I'm not gonna argue with you guys no more. So I'm gonna let all the bad comments in there, I don't care anymore. Do what you wanna do. But if you are digging our channel and you wanna support us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And other than that, enjoy the video. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video on how to fix cars. Today we're working on a 09 Toyota Camry. We're gonna do all the suspension work on this car. CV axle, both struts in the front, inner and outer tie rod, ball joint. Okay. And also, we're gonna do the brakes and rotors. Alright, this is a Toyota Camry. I think it's a. 2.4, it's a 2.5. All right, fam bam, tuner squat. We finished one side already, the strut, brakes and rotors, inner and outer tie rod, ball joint, CV axle. So now we're gonna do the other side. Uh, on the other side, I will show you how we're gonna take everything apart. So this is all the parts for the other side. Strut, ball joint, inner and outer tie rod, and CV axle, passenger CV axle. Looks like we're gonna need light up in here. So right now what we're doing, we're putting W40 on all the screws and bolts, nuts, everything that's gonna come out for EC access. It is easier if you have a lift, but you can also do it on the ground. It's just gonna be a little bit harder. That's all it is, but you can get to it. All right, to take out the caliper, it's a 14 millimeter, 14 mil. Turn to the left. Seventeen. Seventeen. To hold the back of it, because the bolt just keeps spinning. All right. So you also get a hanger, you know, or a wire, whatever you have. This is a hanger. We've been using it for a while now. That's why it looks all messed up. And that's what we're gonna use to uh, hold the caliper uh, out of the way. Mm -hmm. With all the struts and everything coming out, we gotta hook it up to the ear. Okay, now to remove the caliper bracket, it's a 70 millimeter. That's what we're about to do. Uh, if you don't got a gun. If you don't got a gun, go get yourself a breaker bar, okay? Thank you. 
All right, now that we removed the uh, bracket, we're gonna remove the rotor. All right, now we're gonna remove the uh, the lines for the, the speed sensor and the uh, brake line. Go ahead, it's a 12, okay, 12 millimeter. All right, now, so the, the bowl, the 12 point right there, it has a, it has a, a knot on there, like a, like a little hit on top of the crown. So we're gonna strain it up so that way it'd be easier to remove it. That's all you do. Now, we're, now you need a 12 point socket. It's a 30, 30 millimeter, 12 point socket. Yeah, all right. Now again, if you don't have a, a impact gun, you can use a breaker bar. So now you, uh, we're getting the cutter pin out of the a castle nut from the uh, outer tie rod because we're going to replace the tie rod too. So it's a 17 for the castle nut. It's out. And remember, we're not using the, the outer tie rod, so we're going to hit it with the hammer. You normally don't do that, but since we're not going to use it, we're going to go ahead and hit it. We're going to replace the whole arm. Damn, bitch. Motherfucking under. You want me to move? Yeah, move. All right, so there's a clamp on the end, on the end of that rubber boot to the outer tie rod, which is this one right here. You see it? And it has a, and at the end, it has like this little gap where you're gonna slide your screwdriver right there like that. And then you're gonna pop it out like that. Okay, cause I'm not gonna be able to show you that part. So that's how you do it though, okay? That's how you're gonna take that little part back there. To remove the uh, the outer tie rod, we have to remove that center link right there. So it's a 17 millimeter and a, and a L ring. So now to take the the strut, we're using a 22 mil with a breaker bar. So you remove both of the bolts and nuts out of the strut. So now we're gonna remove the CV axle. Now it's out of place, you gotta get out of place. Hitting it with the hammer is not gonna hurt it. Plus we're gonna replace it so it doesn't matter. Get out the way. Shoot slide right out. 
So never mind guys, it's not the one on top, it's this one right here, the one that has to come out. So it's a 14 millimeter. And then it should release. It should slide right out. That's what we're gonna do next, okay? So you need to remove that clip. We already removed it. Just push it out of the way and it'll come right off. Push it right there in the ground. Put it right there. That's how it's gonna come out, guys. I think you got it out. You gotta just push it out here. Yeah. There you go. So the whole CV axle is out. Now we have space to go ahead and get that outer tie rod. So now you guys uh, turn the stern wheel to the other side so the tie rod can come back out and then we'll have access to get it. Couldn't get it earlier because that axle was on the way. Up. I'm trying to find the best spot to go up. Yeah, it's loose. the lap, remember that. All right, now we're gonna put the new tie rod in, the outer tie rod. Yeah, hey, you gotta make sure these going in between the grooves. Yeah, you gotta make sure those little two points are connected to the other uh, points over there. All right, so after we tie the outer tie rod, it's on there now. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the rubber boot back together and everything together. Now, if you don't have that tool to pressurize the clamp, you can always use two zip ties, put them together and close the gap. Now I'm gonna grab the other, the outer tie rod. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Support the movement. We're almost at 600 subscribers, but the goal is to reach a thousand so we can start doing revenue for the channel. Um, we will really appreciate it.
now that you guys have seen how we took everything out, now you can put everything back together the same way you took it out, okay? Everything else is easy though. This ball joint, there's nothing to it, three bolts. Uh, take the cotter pin, the castle nut, and then hit it with the hammer. Remember, we're gonna replace this, so the top doesn't matter anymore. So when we put the new one back on, that's the one that matters. So that's the one that you gotta take care of. So all of these that we took out and we hammer it down, that doesn't matter anymore because you're not gonna use it, okay? All right then, we'll see you guys.